What's up, everybody? This is a Celsius AMA recap video. So right here, Alex is saying that they have over $2 billion in assets under management right now. And that doesn't include the $220 million that are with a third party. So that doesn't include the $334 million sell in treasury right here that are worth almost $600 million. And he drives the point home that Celsius has so much money, $600 million, that they will protect anybody and everybody if there is an issue. And he's saying that these insurance policies really mean nothing when it comes down to it. But Celsius has so much money in treasury that that is the best insurance policy that they could possibly have. So Alex shows an interview he did with Kitco News back in May, and he says that 20% of all the money that's ever been printed has come since COVID started. And he said that's when he saw people like Venmo, MicroStrategy, and others getting into Bitcoin. So another video he did on the NASDAQ YouTube station talking all about government currencies and CBDCs and the difference between that and and Bitcoin. And here on this latest interview from November 5th, Alex is re-emphasizing that there will be higher demand because there's this less supply of Bitcoin. And he still stands behind a new all-time high for Bitcoin by the end of the year. And Alex does say that when Bitcoin goes above $20,000 and ETH goes above $550, he said to start trimming. So he says taking some of those profits and putting them into more non-correlated assets like Pax Gold and Tether Gold. Or he said, go ahead and purchase something like USDC, convert some Bitcoin to stablecoin, put it in the Celsius wallet, and you're still earning around 10% yield. So here Alex is talking about the partnership between Bitfinex and Celsius. If you have coins in Bitfinex, you do not need to take them outside of Bitfinex. You don't need to send them to Celsius. You can still earn the yield inside your Bitfinex wallet like you would inside your Celsius app. Here Alex is talking about the Bitcoin charts, saying that we had some big resistance levels at 10,000, 12,000, but these big companies like PayPal, PayPal and Square and Cash App coming in really help move the price up to these new levels. And he's saying that this increase in price is not being driven by institutions. These are private companies like PayPal and Cash App. And talking about the sell token, Alex is saying that the people who are hodling and believe in what Celsius is doing, the hodlers are the people that are really seeing these massive gains. Here's an article from globes.co.il talking all about Celsius and why they're beating the banks. So here's an article talking about Zen and Horizon partnering with Celsius. And Alex is saying that Horizon is one of the three pieces or three parts of the proof of community concept. And he said that they are going to launch one of those next week. Here Alex was in the Reimagine 2020 conference. And here's the interview of Brock Pierce, who was running for president on the MoIP interview on the Celsius Network YouTube channel. Zach just asked Alex, so with all this uncertainty, why are we seeing the price of equities and Bitcoin go up? Alex is saying that a lot of investors took their money out of the markets before the election because they were afraid or concerned about riots and uncertainty. Alex is saying that now people realize that whoever wins the election, there isn't going to be some civil war. People are now putting their money into more riskier investments like tech stocks and crypto. He gives an example right here that Tether has a much higher 24-hour volume than Bitcoin. And the reason it's so much higher is because people are moving Tether and stablecoins into Bitcoin. Here Alex is saying that for a couple days before the election, they were actually losing money by lending out stablecoins. Uh, they were paying more to us than they were actually getting from institutions. But now after the election, he said those rates are much, much higher. So Alex is saying that he's mostly interested in the averages. And that's why he moved it from 11.5% down to 10.5% about a week ago for USDT and stablecoins because there was just less demand. But he says that if the demand stays high, they will raise the rates for all of us. On Monday, Alex said that you can borrow against sell token with a 33% LTV. Before it was just 25%. So the fact that now it's 33 shows that Celsius is very confident in the price of sell token and they feel confident to lend you more money for your collateral. So Alex said that they sold out of their two and a half million sell tokens with the OTC purchases. So for OTC purchases, you have to either send stablecoin coins or fiat, and then they will send you sell token. Alex is saying that when there's been these big drops over the last couple days from like $1.90 to $1.50, and then it was around $1.40, and then it went to $1.10, I believe, a few weeks before, Celsius
purchase is the one that is buying up all of these sell tokens at these lower prices. Alex is saying that they have zero bad loans, zero loans that don't pay their interest. And this move from 25 to 33% LTV is just their confidence in the price of sell token. And here Alex is just reinforcing that they only take secured loans. So you need to provide at least 200% collateral, right? So if it's a 50% LTV, if you're going to get a thousand dollar loan, you have to give them $2,000 in collateral. And the promo code is gold20, G-O-L-D-2-0 for brand new users. It's the same as if you get a code for myself too. So there really isn't any difference. You're going to get $20 when you transfer $200 or more of crypto and leave it there for 30 days. So if you're new, whether you use gold 20 or you use a code from someone like myself or somebody else in Celsius network, if you have a friend or a colleague who already is involved, I would suggest you use someone's personal referral code so they can also receive $20 as well. Here, Alex is talking about a company called Argo, which they are lending them money to run and fund their Bitcoin mining operations. So they are getting paid interest to help another company secure the Bitcoin network. And he said that they'll be issuing a press release about that next week. First question, when are we going to get an update on UK loans? And he said that they are already live in the UK and everybody gets pre-approved because as long as you have assets with Celsius, you've already completed the KYC. There is no requirement for getting approved for these loans. Next question is about earning these returns in a tax advantaged vehicle. Alex is saying that yes, there are some companies that do this with self-directed IRAs or Roth IRAs. And Alex said he will be finding a place on the website to kind of consolidate this information for all of us. Next question is what do you think about the Wyoming crypto senator that was just elected? And Alex is very happy about this. There's a lot of crypto things happening in Wyoming right now. The next question is all of my friends are asking me, how do I get into crypto now that crypto is going up, what do I tell them? Alex basically says, tell them to download the Celsius app with your promo code. So each of you get $20. Here, Alex is giving away $500 just to some random people. The first is somebody who never took out their money, who hodled since I think July 2018. The second person is the 200,000th user. The next person referred 1,004 people to Celsius. The next $500 is going to the person who has the largest amount of assets, 33 different coins he's holding inside the Celsius wallet. And the last $500 is the person who took out the most loans, 28 loans since Celsius started. Alex is reinforcing the fact that there's no early termination fee. You can close a loan at any time. The only thing they require is six months of interest. So if you were to open a loan and then close it a week later, you do have to pay that six months of interest. But usually that's, you know, $10 or so, depending on how big of a loan you are taking versus other companies like BlockFi that charge a two to 3% origination fee just for opening your loan. The next question is, what are they going to do as a company to celebrate the 100th person who's become a millionaire inside of Celsius? Alex is saying that once Corona is over, they will be having more get-togethers and parties, and they will be having more of these celebrations. The top 200 will be able to join. The employees will be there. The next question is, where is the sell coming from for the 30 outstanding orders from the OTC desk? And Alex said there are other wallets where they buy and sell sell token. And he reinforces that there's never going to be any sell tokens ever created. You can verify that on the contract. There will only be 695 million sell token ever in existence. The next question is about Bank to the Future. Those of you who participated in that funding round, they ask asking if they get any more updates in the future. And Alex said that all the news is public news. There's no private news that's only being sent out to the Bank to the Future members. And Alex is talking about the funding round that they did for Back to the Future. 1,043 people, Celsians, got on the bus and became investors at a $120 million valuation, which right now it's gone up a heck of a lot. The next question is from somebody who lives in New York and says that they are restricted from most of the assets and will that ever change? Alex is saying that they are very, very, very compliant with the New York state laws. And when that changes, Celsius will be adding more coins to New York residents. Alex actually says that your inability to purchase and do different functionalities are actually because your phone is in New York. He says that if somebody 
is a resident of Amsterdam. If they come to New York, they can't do certain things than if they were in Amsterdam. Next question is, will we ever be able to hold fiat in the app? Alex said that it's complicated because you have to be a bank to take fiat deposits. He said that they could go to the state of Wyoming and apply for a license to become a bank, but then there's a lot of things that they could not do because they are a bank. And Alex is saying that they're waiting for the benefits of becoming a bank will be much higher than the limitations of becoming a bank. But we are not there now, and they are waiting for that point to even consider becoming a bank. The next question is, why does Pax Gold and Tether Gold often have different prices? And Alex said that, yes, they both are pegged to gold, but just like Bitcoin can have a different price on different exchanges, so can gold. And he's saying the benefit of Tether Gold is that you can actually redeem physical gold with your tokens. So you can fly to Switzerland and you can send it from your app. They will actually give you gold for your crypto. Alex said that Pax Gold, you should be very, very confident with Paxos. They said that PayPal uses Paxos, but you can't redeem it for physical gold. Next question is, are you Israeli and do you speak Hebrew? And he says, yes, in Hebrew. The next question is, what is OTC and how is it different than buying on an exchange? So OTC stands for over the counter. So it says that sometimes the bid on say Uniswap or another exchange is not big enough. He said that if you want to buy $50,000 worth of sell right now, you're going to eat up the first, the second, the third, the fourth bid, and the price is going to go up the more you buy. The difference is that if you go to the OTC desk and you say I want to buy $100,000 of sell and they give you a price, you know that it is going to be that price for all 100,000 sell. And the same thing applies when you are selling as well. Next question is, will Celsius support the Bitcoin Cash hard fork? Alex said they're still looking into it and they'll get back to us soon. Next question is about more support in Spanish. And they say that there are a bunch of Telegram channels in all different languages. Next question is about Ethereum 2.0. And Alex said they are going to be staking the ETH 2.0. And he said that the average income for ETH holders is actually going to go up. What Celsius is going to do is blend the staking fee plus all the income you're going to generate from the institutional lending. And the average is going to be much higher. And as a user of Celsius, you will be earning much more than just the staking fee. Here, Alex is talking about the thing the higher the price of sell token is, the less they have to buy every single week. Next question is if sell goes up too fast in price, does that cause a problem with Celsius? And Alex says, no, it's not going to cause a problem. Alex said that they have about 40 to $50 million of US dollars on their balance sheet right now in addition to what all of the sell that they own is worth, which is about $600 million. Alex said that if you find an error on the desktop portal, they will send you $1,000 to point that out to them. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my station if you want to get these as they come out and other news on Celsius Network.